beautiful people my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel hope you're having an awesome day in today's video I'm always excited for also always nervous about so today we're doing another makeup declutter it has been three months so it's practically July it's been three months since I did my last declutter I do makeup declutters every three months some people do them once a year or once every million years it seems like when you see people do declutters I did them every three months for a reason I want to keep myself going through and keeping things fresh in my collection that I'm actually interested in, things that I actually use all the time, and not keep things and let them go bad that I may not use. So today we're going to doing a makeup declutter. This is part one, which is everything in my collection, foundations, primers, eyeliners, blushes, highlighters, everything like that, except for palettes. Everything in the collection except palettes. Palettes will be part two, because it takes a long time to go through those. But today we're doing part one. I will also, anything that's clean and can be sanitized and stuff or is brand new, I will list on my Depop. I do donate a bunch of stuff as well and give things to friends and family, but you know, sometimes I don't, you know, sometimes people are tired of getting stuff from me because I give a lot of stuff away. And then sometimes I'm like, well, I spent a lot of money on this. It's still clean. It can still be used. And I list it on my Depop or it's brand new, like from a subscription box. I list it up there. It's also 10% fees and less shipping prices for y'all compared to Poshmark, which is 20% fees and like $7 shipping. So I do Depop. And without any further ado, you guys, I'll leave that link down below. Let's get started. I don't know how much we're going to declutter. I feel like we just decluttered, but it has been three months. It is time again. And I don't know how much I'm going to declutter this time, but we're going to see. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So this first part, part one, I don't know if I'm going to declutter that much just because my base stuff I use every single day. There's some palettes I don't use all the time. That's why I think it's easier to get rid of palettes. But let's start off with the primer and brush drawer. I'm not going to mess with the brushes right now. And back there is just some little puffy stuff. So for primers, I know I can get rid of this. I only used it that once and I didn't really like care for it so it's the Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. This one, I just used it once, it was like eh, so I can part with it. I do love Cover FX quality though. Um, we have some Milani, we have two sprays, so the Milani one and the Hangover from Too Faced I'm going to keep. I will also part ways with this Velvet Blurring Primer. I only use this once for an Instagram look and it's just, I don't know, I like the more hydrating primers better so I don't need that one either. So two primers down. Love my moonshine cream. My little eye bases I'm going to keep. Actually, I'll part ways with the Pretty Vulgar one. I don't even think I used it. Yeah, I'd never used this, the Pretty Vulgar eye base, so I'm going to part ways with this one. I'm going to keep my Kaleidos, my Cut Crease Canvas, my Glitter Glue, um, my Gerard base, some It Concealer. Also, you guys, okay, so this might not be appropriate. Also, look how tan my arm is compared to my face. It's ridiculous. Might be appropriate, but if you guys ever get a hickey, okay, the It Cosmetics Concealer, this is a little sample. So when I worked at Ulta, you weren't supposed to get samples, but the person who worked at the Clinique counter got me a little sample of the It Concealer, and it covers that perfectly. So the It Cosmetics Concealer will cover that up. It's very thick. Um, if you need it for that purpose, that's why I keep it around, um, just in case I ever get a bruise or anything, because... Anything on my legs is pretty obvious because I wear dresses all the time, so that covers up any imperfection. But yeah, I also think it would cover up that. I'm going to keep my Milani Rose Primer. I will part ways. No, I'll keep this one. I'll keep the Becca Skin Love Primer. It's kind of iffy on that one. Ah, I'm going to part ways with the Silicone Free Primer from Good Molecules. I just never use it. I think I used it twice maybe maybe twice it's nice I did review it but it's not my favorite I'm gonna keep all three of these Laura Mercier primers I love the hydrating these all the time like I'm running out the illuminating one I rarely use but I do want just one illuminating primer and then the one with sunscreen I'll actually get rid of the protecting one with SPF 30 in it because my face is wearing such full coverage foundation anyways I don't need sunscreen in my primer and I use the hydrating one so I'll get rid of this one I think I used it maybe twice I always just reach for the same ones like I'll reach for like a spray the moonshine cream or this one or this one like I use the same ones over and over again and this one's almost empty like this is my favorite primer but now we have a little we can see we have a little more room in here there's a little bit of space going on so maybe I can move around my eye primers later but Next, let's move on to my foundation drawer. Okay, so this one's hard <laughs> because I love it, but 
Decisions have to be made. Now, I do have two of these. They're in two different shades, a lighter one and a darker one. This is way too dark for me, but it's a good mixer. This is hard. I love foundation. I feel like I use it every day, and this, like, coats my entire face. So, I, like, I love, I love all these. Okay. I'll get rid of the Stellar. The Stellar foundation. I used it for that video, and I never feel like I ever touched it again. So, this can go. Um, even though it's like $42 at Sephora, this is in the shade L01, but like it was just fine. I was not like, blown away by it, so I just never reached for it anymore. Here's the hard part, because I never used the Il Maquillage. I never used these two. Okay, so I'm going... Do I need to get rid of this? Because I used this one if I want to do we finish. Mmm. I have this for dewy finishes too. This is difficult. I love foundation. Foundations like foundation and setting powder. Like I love them. Concealers I can't sanitize, so I might as well just keep them. This one's a little pressy tube though. I got this at TJ Maxx the other day. This is extra light. You guys, it is not. Like <laughs> it's not. That's extra light. This is it's ridiculous. Okay, so we only got rid of one foundation. I feel like I need to get rid of at least another one. Uh, I never ever reach for these two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do. I need, I don't ever reach for Peach Perfect anymore either. Okay, I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. <laughs> I just got rid of the Stellar one. This is hard for me. I don't know why, but it's extremely hard for me, and I'm not trying to stress myself out. So I'm going to keep, actually, I will get rid of, oh my gosh, will I? Yeah, this is too hard. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I need to declutter. Because if I get another beauty blender, it's going to take up all this space and it's going to be full again. And then I want to try the new ColourPop foundation. So I do need to get rid of another one. I'm going to get rid of the... Did I even use this one? I bought a new shade of it and I don't even think I used it. I'll get rid of the flower. I'll get rid of the flower beauty one. I don't think I used this. Because I had this before and it was too dark and they came out with extra shades. I was like, oh my god, they have extra shades. And I bought it and I don't remember if I used it or not. So it can definitely go because apparently I'm not wearing it. And if we're being honest, I don't really wear this one or the Il Maquillage either. I will part... Oh, oh no. We got rid of a little bit of space. So I can put my foundation sticks down here. And then I have a little bit of room right here. You know what? That's fine. Very stressed out about this drawer. Also, should I paint these black? They always get dirty with like makeup and stuff on them. Okay, next drawer is setting powders and contoury products. I'm not getting rid of these. The Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. Oh, the lighter one. And then the medium one, I also didn't think medium was going to work for me, but honestly, it's such a nice light coverage that like, this is great. If my foundation's a little darker, I can add a little bit of something on top. And if I'm wearing a really fair foundation, this is a great bronzer to go over it, the medium shade for me. So let's see, I don't know if I'm getting rid of anything in this drawer. Let's see. No, nope. Laura Marcia bronzer is gonna stay. I'll part ways with the Becca one, the Becca Bali Sands. I do like it, I think it's really pretty. Um, it's a really pretty one, but now that I have the Charlotte Tilbury ones, that's what I'm reaching for. And then I also have an affordable drugstore option and a more high-end Laura Mercier, so I'll part ways with this bronzer. Uh, did I ever use this? Yeah, I opened it. Eye brightener powder. <laughs> I opened it, but I don't know if I used it. And if I needed... A white setting powder. How many white setting powders do I have? Just two? Okay, that's not that bad. I love setting powder. So I feel like this drawer is okay. Maybe I should get rid of this double layer and like do that. But this drawer is okay. It's not very full. I think it's fine. Do I need to part ways with this though? It's, it's kind of bulky and in the way. The Smashbox palette. It's limited edition. You can't get anymore. So I will part ways with it. I only used this shade. A couple times 
and the rest of it's brand new. So I will part ways with it. It's just so, I love it. The packaging is beautiful. Like look how cool that is. But if I set anything in front of it, it won't close. So I have to like put everything on top of this. So I will part ways with this. But then I'm going to find a new contour product that I love a lot because I only have these three. And one of them is practically empty. Okay, last drawer on this side is <sighs> really packed, but I don't want to part with any of it. Okay, so this is highlighters and blushes. I said it was a new color this time, last time, but I didn't. It's the Sailor Moon blush in Cat's Eye. I'm going to go ahead and part ways with it because I have not used it since I decolored it. I used it once for the review and not again because it's just super, super bold, but like really cute. So I'm going to part ways with that. I'm also going to part ways if I can find the pink one of these, the Super Shock. So that's this one. I only swatched it and I'm just not a fan of the color. I think it's just not going to work for me. So I'm going to part ways with that one. I'm going to keep the gold one and my regular Euro Catch Super Shock. I think I'm finally ready to get rid of the Laura Mercier Baked Powder Highlighter. It's Highlight 01. This is a beautiful like starting off highlight and then I top it with something a little more metallic. It is so pretty and like glassy on the skin. But I think I'm ready to get rid of it because I just have a lot of other highlighters, obviously. Oh, let's see. Those can stay. These, a lot of these can just stay. I love them all so much. Let's see. Which one of these do I use more? The Lethal Cosmetics Wavelength? I think I reach for this gold one more, which is called Isotope, and I'm going to part ways with Ionic. Whew, it's a little bit difficult. I never reach for this Amrezy highlighter anymore, but since you can't get it again, I'm scared to declutter it. Okay, so, you're not prying these out of my cold dead hands. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. These are difficult. Like blushes and highlighters are difficult. So this one I repressed. I'm going to keep. I'm going to part ways with Cinderella from OMFG. It's a little trio highlighter. And I'm also going to part ways with this Estate Exposed Doomy highlighter, which I used for a glowy blush like once and forgot about. So these little cute small ones I'm going to get rid of. Uh, these are so difficult. So I'm not going to part ways with these. They're really cute. Then these Urban Decay ones, Obsessed and Fetish, so pretty, I can't not, I cannot get rid of those. <laughs> Let's go through my Ofra ones, I feel like I can probably get rid of one, so we're not getting rid of pink, uh, the pink one. Pillow Talk, why did that blank on me right then? Glazed Donut is after that. Then we have Snuggle Up, which is a duo. I had to repress this one, so I guess I'm just going to keep it. And then this one I can probably part ways with. It's called Beverly Hills, which is a little five pan thing. I'm going to get rid of this one because I just never reached for it. I also think I can probably part ways with Devotion by Laura Mercier. I really love her products. Yeah, I think I can part ways with this one. It has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's a really pretty color. Okay, so let's put you back in order. I made a little bit of room over here. Like, a little bit of room. Let's see. This is not going that well. Let's look in the back here. Okay, so I never... I picked this out of a boxy charm, I think. And I was like, I'm going to use it for liquid highlight. And I never did. So the iconic London Luminator. The original. Never used. I'm going to part ways with it. Because apparently I didn't need it. After that, let's see. We have some other... I don't remember using this. Did I ever use this? It's the Becca Skimmering Skin Perfect Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. Yes, I did use this once. Just once. So now that I have this pretty one with fragrance in it, it's really pink. I think I'm gonna keep this one and part ways with this one. This one also maybe became in a boxy charm. Oh, I'm definitely parting ways with the Cover FX Gold Bar highlighter. I use it for an Instagram look and nothing else. So it came from the BoxyCharm pop-up shop where you can get like discounted makeup and stuff. It wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. It just like didn't do enough for me. I feel like I love CoverFX products, but some of the ones that come in BoxyCharm just aren't my favorite. Uh, I'm definitely keeping my Gwen Stefani blush palette back there. Um, some Jeffree Star Skin Frost back there. Moon Dust by Urban Decay. Now this looked really pretty online 
But look at the color. Like, wh what am I supposed to do with this color? It's gray. So this can go for sure. Because I like, it looks so pretty. Like, ooh, a silvery skin thing. And then like, when it's you see it in person, it's so dark. But it is real pretty. It looks real pretty. But like, I don't think it would work on my skin tone. So... Next, we have a couple Kaleidos. This one's the new one, Diamond Dasher. I'm totally keeping this really pretty peachy one. I'm going to keep my yellow Solar Sailor. I'm probably going to keep all four of these, honestly. Ooh, the Orange Ray Rider. This one's more subtle. Uh, I'm going to keep it anyways. And then Star Surfer, which is the Pinky Pinky. I'm going to keep these for now. Maybe I'll declutter them next time, but I, I love them right now. They're really pretty. The packaging on those is just out of this world. So I think that's all of these I'm going to part ways with. I mean, these are so pretty and they're new. So I'm going to keep these for now, too. Yeah, I think that's all of these I'm going to part ways with. And now let's move on to the other drawers. But this was the bulk of it. So this is what we parted ways with right now. Which is pretty good. Alright, so the angle's a little weird for these, but this one's probably not going to be decluttered that much, so I'm not worried about it. So, setting sprays and stuff. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to part ways with the pinky, the pixie milky lotion. I never reached for it. I thought I was going to. I don't. A lot of setting sprays. I'm going to go ahead and part ways with this one. We just found the AIA Beauty Bundle, but I have not used it since. We unboxed it, so it's the Hydrating Mist from Mana Kadar. It's a really big one, like compared to like, let's say the Becca, which is a regular full size bottle. It's really big, and I don't even know if you can see that, so I'm gonna part ways with it. Uh, everything else in here is pretty safe, I think. I mean, I was considering parting with my Fourth Ray Beauty spray because I'm running low on this uh, glowy one from Becca, though. I'm gonna keep it because it's my only other glowy setting spray. I think everything else in here is pretty safe, honestly. I'll part ways with the Mercy Candy Hand Cream just because it's an overwhelming fragrance. I used it twice. Once in the video, once beforehand. All this stuff is safe. I'm going to part ways with this one, actually, because I haven't used it in, like, a million years. But, I mean, not a million years. It was earlier this year that I reviewed that thing. But it's the Misfit Beauty Co. Darn This Stuff Edward Scissor Hand Spray. And that'll give me a little bit more room, maybe, in here. Maybe. <laughs> Not much. Okay. The next drawer is just lashes. So I'm not going to... I mean, maybe I will declutter these, actually. Because there's a lot of them I haven't worn. Anything I've worn, obviously, I'm just going to keep. But... I know there's some in here I haven't worn. Woof. So I haven't worn these. As far as bold face, I think I wore all these. Rough and Rouge. I haven't worn these, so I'm going to get rid of Lady Killer by Rouge and Rogue. Rogue and Rouge. I think I have an extra pair of these taco crazy looking ones. I was keeping them for like an exotic crazy, maybe a drag look. So I think I have two of, yeah, I have two of these huge ones that I'm going to get rid of one. These are Cameroons. Um, from Glam Light and get rid of one of the pairs. I'll put the other one back in here. I think we just opened this. So I think that's it for the. I haven't worn these either. That's okay though. I think I'm gonna keep those. So that's it for the lashes. I ordered an extra pair of Halo and I forgot I had them. I need to move them up from closer. So for lashes, I just decluttered two. I don't feel like that's very good, but what you gonna do? The next drawer is liquid lipsticks. I don't feel like going through this right now, so we're gonna leave this alone. And then I don't think I'm gonna have to order anything from down here either, which is like the last actually makeup drawer down here. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust you. I think these are pretty good. I mean, there's probably some of these things I could throw away, probably, but I'm just gonna. Like anything I'm not going to just like list right now. I'm just going to like keep using the mascaras till they're dry and stuff. The liquid eyeshadows. I love all my liquid eyeshadows to be honest. And I've used them all so 
It's like this drawer is okay. There's nothing I really need to get rid of in here, I don't think. And then the last drawer down here is just baby wipes, cotton rounds, and a bunch of sponges. So these are pretty safe too. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's declutter. Let's show you what we decluttered. So from the second part of the video, we just had a couple lashes and some skin stuff. And then we also decluttered all this stuff. So it's not terrible. It's not the best, not the worst. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.